Hi, I'm Suzanne Matson, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how you can improve your self-confidence and your self-esteem. As project managers it is very important that we have enough self-confidence in order to stand up for ourselves, our team members and our project. There's a lot of decisions we need to make on a daily basis and we do need a certain amount of gravitas in order to be effective project managers. So if you feel that your self-confidence generally could benefit from improving, then I have some tips for you here. The first tip is for you to start noticing every time you tend to put yourself down, every time you tend to have some kind of negative thought about yourself. Capture it and be very conscious about it. And then ask yourself what evidence you have for this negative thought. What external evidence do you have? Did anyone say anything? Have you got feedback to suggest that this is in fact something that you're not so good at. Because most often than not, with people who have low self-confidence, it is things that happen in our minds. It may be something you're just making up. So force yourself to go out and look at things objectively. Other good things you can do is to write a positive vision and mission statement. This uh, is simply a paragraph long something you capture which makes you feel really good and really confident, which you can read every day before you leave home. I'm going to read out aloud for you such a, a statement so that you get a view of um, what I mean. So this is the example. I feel confident and calm in everything that I do as a project manager. I love and respect myself and I value my uniqueness and my capabilities. My mission is to focus on my strengths and to have the confidence to withstand pressure from demanding stakeholders. So of course you need to create a vision and mission statement which rings true for you. And post it somewhere where you can see it and really take it in and really feel good about it. It can make a great difference to your day. Another good way of practicing um, your self-esteem and improving your self-esteem is to focus on appreciating yourself. You can do this by having a daily um, diary where you write down lots of positive things that have happened during the day. And really be honest with yourself. Give yourself credibility for the things that went well. Remember, this is not about being arrogant. This is just about seeing yourself in the positive light that you deserve. So write down in your diary positive things, things that you contributed to during the day. And every single day, find something new to appreciate about yourself. It can be a very, very good way and powerful way to end your working day with this list of really feeling, feeling um, that proudness um, inside of yourself. Other things you can do to improve your self-esteem is to read motivational books, to surround yourself with happy people, and to also focus on setting goals little by little. So when you set goals, make sure that they are small and that you take each step at a time so that you set yourself up for small successes. And generally, I do, of course, encourage you to take action to improve on some of the things that you're less confident about. If you are not so confident about the business aspect of your project, if you don't feel you understand your client's business very well, take action to read up on it. Speak with a mentor who can generally help you improve. And the same goes if there are project processes you're not so confident about, or if you are unsure about the technology or some of the practices that you use on your projects. Do what you can to study it. Empower yourself to take action. It will definitely um, make you feel better as well, not just to gain new knowledge, but to know that you're doing something about it. Now I have an exercise for you which I would like you to do. I would like you to think about a time when you felt really confident about something. I want you to actually close your eyes and identify that time. Could be anything, something that made you feel really proud, something that made you feel really good about yourself. And I want you, as you're closing your eyes, identify where in your body you feel this sensation. Where in your body do you feel this goodness and this confidence? 
Is it in your chest? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your arms? Wherever it is for you, identify that place. And just stay with that feeling for a little while. Allow yourself to feel that goodness in your body. Now, ideally, you need to do this exercise every day when you wake up. And if you feel anxiety during the day, if you suffer from low self-esteem, take some time out and sit down and identify and do this exercise. Think about something that you generally feel happy about and feel proud about and feel it in your body, identify it in your body. And the more you do this, the more of an effect it will have on you. You probably also know the saying, fake it until you make it. With self-confidence, that can be a good piece of advice to take on. So I encourage you to implement some of the things we've talked about in this video. And uh, I'm happy for you to email me and let you know how you get on with it. Good luck.